alternate angles and cointegral angles. Let us study the alternate angles and the cointegral or conjoint or allied angles. Before this, we have seen the parallel lines and the transversals. If these are the parallel lines, parallel lines they can extend at both the ends. and the distance never changes they never intersect they are the parallel lines a line in between the parallel lines is the transversal now because of this transversal many angles are formed let us name those angles as 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 now these angles they form the pair of corresponding angles pair of alternate angles and also the pair of cointegral or conjoint or allied angles now first let us study some of the alternate angles now in this way see here you can see this way the z is formed here one angle from the right hand side and one from the left hand side one from the above one from the lower side these are the alternate angles if i say alternate angles now these alternate angles here angle 4 and angle 6 they are the alternate angles again you can see that angle 3 and angle 5 these are also the alternate angles so we can say angle 3 and angle 5 these are also the alternate angles so we have seen two pairs of alternate angles now these alternate angles can be interior and also exterior now these both you can say them as the interior alternate angles because they are at the inner side of both these parallel lines so again i repeat fourth and sixth this is the pair of alternate angles fifth and third they are the pair of alternate angles now if you see at the outer side so this angle 1 and angle 7 so angle 1 and angle 7 they are also the alternate angles and your angle 2 and angle 8 these are also the pair of alternate angles so angle 2 and angle 8 these are also the alternate pairs of angles but but your you can say that these are the exterior as they are on the outer side they are the exterior angle 1 with angle 7 and angle 2 with angle 8 these are the exterior alternate angle now let us see the conjoint angles or the cointegral same thing these are the parallel lines parallel lines never meet never intersect the distance never change and if this is the transversal because of this transversal eight angles are formed now if i talk about the cointegral then i say this angle and this angle these both are the cointegral angles this and this angle these are the cointegral if i name them as the numbers if i say this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 your angle 3 is cointegral with angle 5 angle 4 is cointegral with angle 6 now let us see the property alternate angles are always of same measures if i say alternate angles alternate angles are of same measure that is they are always equal you can say they are congruent so angle 4 and angle 6 will may have same measures angle 3 and angle 5 will have same measures same thing for the exterior that is 1 and 7 will have equal measures 2 and 8 will have equal measures we can say them congruent these are the interior and these are the exterior now for the cointegral angles we can say that this part this is the interior side of one side this is the interior side of 
other side of the transfer cell they always they are always supplementary that is they add up to 180 so here angle 3 plus angle 5 that should be 180 and angle 4 plus angle 6 that should be 118 that is these four interior angles they should be supplementary angles so here we have discussed the alternate angles and the co-interior angles alternate angle have same measures and the co-interior angles they sum up to 180 that is their supplementary angles is it simple